Hey YouTube, Scarpio here. Last week we learned how to increase our adrenaline gain. If you missed that video, I'll put a card right up here. Otherwise, let's learn how to retain our adrenaline. With the knowledge of last week's video, we can now get adrenaline faster for ultimates and thresholds. But did you know that there are many ways to keep that adrenaline even if you're using it or out of combat? This can be achieved through different equipment, auras, perks, and abilities. But first, let's look at all the ways we lose adrenaline. There aren't many ways that you will lose adrenaline. The main reasons are thresholds, ultimates, and weapon special abilities. As many of you already know, when you leave combat, your adrenaline will deplete at a rate of 5% per game tick. This out of combat drain increases with the use of the constitution ability Regenerate, which drains your adrenaline 10% every game tick while healing you by 2% of your max health every tick. The last way you deplete adrenaline is eating most food while in combat. Each bite of food will cost you 10% adrenaline. There are several different ways to reduce the loss of adrenaline. Starting with the thresholds, the easiest way to counter this is with the Asylum Surgeon's Ring. While wearing this ring, you have a 10% chance to prevent adrenaline loss when using a threshold. This is the most common ring used for adrenaline purposes. There are a few ways to help retain adrenaline after using an ultimate ability. The easiest to get is the Ring of Vigor. While wearing this ring, the cost of using an ultimate ability is 90%. To use this to the best advantage, switch to this ring right before using an ultimate, and then switch back to a different ring. The other common way to save adrenaline when using an ultimate ability is the Ultimatus Invention perk. This perk only works on specific ultimates. Using this perk can save you between 5 and 15% adrenaline. When it comes to losing adrenaline from being out of combat, there are two ways to handle it. The first and most common method is adrenaline stalling. By using certain abilities that don't drain or give adrenaline to quote unquote stay in combat, you negate the loss of adrenaline. One of these abilities must be used every 10 seconds. When done right, you can stall adrenaline loss indefinitely. The other method is the adrenaline urn. This item stores 1000 adrenaline and when out of combat, it will use it up to keep you from losing adrenaline. This urn is filled by getting your adrenaline to 100% and then any additional adrenaline you would gain will fill the urn. The new best way to fill this urn is using the adrenaline crystal in the PVM hub. I know a lot of new PVMers will want to use Regenerate to help save food, but it's better to carry adrenaline from one fight to the next. A great example is in God Wars 2. I never use Regenerate because I want as much adrenaline from the previous fight to start the next one. Make sure you turn off the auto trigger for Regenerate in the settings. And then there's the food issue, which has a way to counter. The most common method is through Ceridomen Brews. These potions will heal you by 1,000 hit points per dose, but will not drain 10% adrenaline. These are very useful since a flask gives you 6,000 hit points for every inventory slot in comparison to rock tails and sailfish. The Ceridomen brews don't use a food cooldown since they are a potion, which means we can also eat food within the same game tick as drinking a Ceridomen brew. The only two types of food that don't give adrenaline are green blubber jellyfish and blue blubber jellyfish. These give 500 and 750 hit points per bite respectively. Here's a short list of methods that aren't used very often for various reasons. I've provided all the wiki links below in the description if you're looking for more specific information. I'm sorry for another long video, but now you know everything about adrenaline that you need to know. Moving forward with this knowledge, I think you're all ready to learn about a basic sunshine and death swiftness rotation, which we'll cover next week. Tell me down in the comments below which method you already use and which ones you're going to try because of this video. Make sure you like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.